And now from our studios in downtown Winnipeg, it's time for 107 Live. Well, this weekend on Saturday, Esprit de Coeur is having their a concert called Silk Threads. And I'm thrilled to uh, announce that they're in the studio this morning to uh, sing us a couple songs. And they're going to be accompanied by uh, pianist Rachel Dick, who's going to be uh, performing on this brand new uh, piano we have here, courtesy of St. John's Music. It's a Yamaha piano, so she's uh, going to be one of the first people to play it. No pressure, Rachel, at all. No pressure <laughs> at all. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to the studio. Thank you for coming in. So uh, before we uh, chat with Valdine, who's here to uh, conduct them, uh, we're going to have a little uh, song. So please, here is Esprit de Coeur. <laughs> Sounded beautiful. That is uh, Esprit de Coeur, and they're going to be uh, singing on Saturday, Crescent Fort Rouge United Church. It's a concert called the Silk Threads, and I asked Valdine off air what, what, what she would title this concert, and she said a, a celebration of faith, and I like, I like the name of that. So in a second, I'm going to be uh, ask, asking uh, Valdine about programming the show as well, but I thought uh, instead of memorizing all the names and finding out how long they've been singing with Esprit de Coeur, I would just ask, ask them. So if you want to, I'm going to start with uh, Rachel down here. Uh, on the piano. So, here you go. Just your name and maybe how long you've been performing for. My name is Rachel Dick and I've been with Esprit de Coeur for six years. Six years. Hi, I'm Heather Quinn and I've been with them, I believe, for five years. I'm Muriel Fontaine. I've been with the choir just under two years. I'm Peggy Alto and I've been the choir for five years. Five years. I'm Zan May and I've been with the choir for five years. I'm Carla Weir, and I've been with the choir for four years. I'm Signe Berger, and I've been with the choir for five years. I'm Stephanie Hildebrandt, and I've been with the choir for five years. I'm Deborah Ginther, and I think this is my third year, or maybe fourth, with the choir. I'm Summer Kenny, I've been with the choir for five years. I'm Trudy Blight, I've been with the choir for five years, I think. Okay, well, five years, popular number there. And uh, Valdine, how about you, Valdine? How long have you been with the choir for? <laughs> Come on into the uh, microphone, let's you have know, a little chat for a second. this choir about seven years ago. Okay. And I, I think there are actually some original members here in the room, so five years was an underestimation. An underestimation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just trying to uh, fit in with everybody. So tell so us a bit about Esprit de Coeur, for you p people that aren't familiar, tell us about the choir. The choir um, started off as just kind of a little project, uh, a one-off kind of thing where uh, some of my voice students and my daughters which I four of um, mandatory had to join but mm -hmm. uh, uh, we thought we would uh, get together and, and sing in the Winnipeg Music Festival and it was it was just sort of a, a feeling that we wanted to continue and it's grown from about 12 members to right now we've got 31 and uh, we've toured now to Vancouver to Iceland um, and we've been performing at numerous uh, civic functions and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, a lot of things that have happened to us that have just you know propelled the choir onto every year uh, bigger projects or, or just uh, different ones and we're we're a choir that uh, I think is unique in that I don't 
don't think we are in a niche. We try to do something that's just more of a, a passion project than a, you know, what's expected. So, mm -hmm. so that's kind of the the object behind our programming and uh, and our evolvement. I want to talk about this program in a second, sure. but you sort of you just briefly mentioned Iceland there, but I think it's worth focusing on that a little bit more. You was it the whole choir went to Iceland? The whole choir went to Iceland. Tell us about that. <laughs> you know, this <laughs> must was have been a lot of fun. It was super fun, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, I, it went so much. Uh, it went better than even expected. It was about a year and a half in the planning, and I think the planning was the stressful part. <laughs> Once we got there, it was uh, delightful. We we uh, had wonderful audiences. Um, um, we did four concerts there, as well as toured the island and s did some sightseeing. We uh, met some composers. Uh, we met some other choirs. By the time we did our final concert in the big Harpa Concert Hall in Reykjavik, I guess word had got gotten out, and uh, maybe people thought they should support this little choir from, from Winnipeg, mm -hmm. and uh, we had a sold-out audience, and uh, it was just a really great feeling. And, and we came back with... Uh, you know, inspired and with uh, some repertoire we want to try out and mm -hmm. and more ideas and so on we go. Yeah, well, like like Winnipeg with its great choral tradition, Iceland has an amazing like choral tradition with tons and tons of choirs in Iceland. You wouldn't, right? You're absolutely right. Yeah. It's amazing. I, I talked to one contact I had, and she was involved in four choirs, and uh, very thought that was quite normal. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and apparently there was a pretty good party thrown after one of the concerts, wasn't there? <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I, word gets around. It even gets around. Don't forget, there's an Icelandic community here. You yeah, can't. Oh, I didn't think it's of not that. Not you know what's what goes on in Iceland doesn't necessarily oh, stay no. in Iceland, right? <laughs> Gee darn. <laughs> I darn. <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. And yeah, the Canadian ambassador to Iceland uh, hosted us at her residence in mm -hmm. Reykjavik. And uh, it was uh, it was our final night. And we were all feeling really great about the concert mm -hmm. and sad that it was over. And, uh, you know, people were leaving to go into other travels. So it was it was a really fun time. Well, I can see that the energy has stayed with you and the enthusiasm oh, for as sure. well. And I'm sure it's always there. I yeah. get the feeling it's always there <laughs> with you. I'm sure the choir can vote for that. Yeah. So uh, tell Tell, tell us about this concert. It's called Silk Threads and uh, weaving together d d music from different cultures and different languages as well. So tell us about it. You know, this was uh, something that came up when I was talking to Richard Turner, the harpist with the Winnipeg yeah. Symphony, and he had done the Britain Ceremony of Carols and the Holst uh, choral hymns from the Rig Veda um, with us at, at, the, at other times. And he was saying, you know, it would be neat if we could even go further, and you've got a Hindu with the, with the Holst, and you've got Christianity with uh, Britain. Uh, maybe there's some other music, and he mentioned uh, Srill Irving Glick, and mm -hmm. um, we had done some of his work as well. So we've, uh, we thought, let's take this even further. And I did a little bit of research, and I, I found this Canadian composer, a living Canadian composer from Vancouver, Edward Henderson, who uh, has an incredible background. He uh, was originally with the band Chilliwack. And, I know uh, them, yeah. Yeah, yes. for sure. And uh, uh, then he went on to write for the screen, for, for TV, for movies, for uh, for choirs, for symphonies, and, and he's also a wonderful guitar player. And uh, I found this uh, song cycle for choir uh, called Bird Song, and it was set to poetry by Rumi. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the in his own write-up about uh, being inspired by Rumi, he just said, you know, the 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 text and the and the writings uh, they they go th through the boundaries of all religions. It's there's a common theme here for for everything, and uh, it suddenly sort of struck a chord that we could put together a concert that uh, presented music from several different faiths, and you would find something to relate to in all of them. And mm -hmm. I thought for for what's usually a Christmas concert in December, this would be something that would maybe remove some boundaries and invite other. Uh, people to celebrate just beautiful music mm -hmm. to texts that move people spiritually mm -hmm. well thank you for uh, for putting together this concert because it, it is, is your as you say in a, in a time where there's so much divisiveness you know bringing everybody together and with a silk thread right I think that's a beautiful image yeah, the yeah. silk thread yeah that was an mm -hmm. idea that came up from uh, Trudy Blight in our mm -hmm. choir and uh, I thought it's perfect you know it's there's something about tapestry and music that uh, seems to make sense okay well thank you Valdine let's we're gonna have a another song you're listening to a 107 live presentation of Esprit de Coeur and their concert is on Saturday, December, uh, this Saturday uh, at Crescent Fort Rouge United Church at 7 p.m. It's called Silk Threads. So we're going to have another uh, song right now. Here is Esprit de Coeur. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's beautiful. Thank you so much. That was a Hebrew song, a Hebrew song, and uh, performed by Esprit de Coeur uh, with Valdine Anderson conducting, and they're accompanied by Rachel Dick on the piano. Their concert is happening on Saturday, Crescent Fort Rouge United Church. Tickets available at the door from choir members online through Eventbrite and also from McNally Robinson and Booksellers. Again, it takes place Saturday, 7 p.m., Crescent Fort Rouge United Church. So thank you all for coming in this morning. Have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful uh, Christmas season, holiday season, whatever you do, celebrate. And uh, hopefully you can come back again. From our studios in downtown Winnipeg, you've been listening to 107 Live, Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, the soundtrack for your life.